Experimental physics is a capstone experience for our students. Mechanical aspects, it may involve optical aspects, it may involve all sorts of other techniques. You may need to know how to machine. There are lots of things. They really want the chance to put everything else aside and get into the lab and play. All these things come together and they're not easy. They're not canned. This is something that we had not done before. Students take a basic idea and after a lot of work, collaborative work with other students, it comes together at the end. When this is turned, the caliper goes in and you can see the green stretches. And this bending will end up bending the gold wire to the point where it will stretch the one atom thickness. And what we'll do is we'll have leads on the end and attached to the circuit that they built and we can measure a voltage output and so when that changes, right? Yeah, the response we should see in the voltage will be, uh, it should be quantized so it'll be like steps, not like a, a continuous slope so that'll be an interesting proof. The reason why these CDs are on the end, this is a genius idea by Alex, is um, so radially, radially if you move this you can, you can basically fine tune it much easier. A lot of the work that goes on here is with manipulating matter with lasers and making optical traps. And I came in one day and we set up the table and it, it didn't look like it was going to work, but we did manage to trap a particle. And I just thought that was really good. Like I had kind of been worn down by the work, but as soon as it worked, you know, I had cheering. a big grin on my face <laughs> and it was really cool. We're basically looking at what's called negative resistance. So when the voltage increases, um, um, electrons move from one band to another band, uh, <coughs> jumping over the, the forbidden zone. And um, when that happens, uh, after a while, it starts to make all the quantum states that are available within the forbidden band. So when you increase the voltage, you start to decrease current because now electrons don't find any bands to go to. We want to use it in cold temperature uh, so that we eliminate the effect of uh, phonons that can also excite electrons and make them uh, uh, make the transition between the bands. Now I talk about phonons, for instance, as if there's something that I'm using or I'm trying to detect instead of something that I'm reading about. It really is uh, great fun in the end when you see things fit together and you see, hey, I hadn't expected this, but wow, I see it now. <laughs>